What's up guys, it's your super players back at it again with your host Tony G bringing you another market watch And I want to give a special shout out to Corey TCG for always hooking up the super players This is where we buy all our singles and you guys should too And they always have like cool specials uh, like deals of the week and not just Dragon Ball But they also have Yu-Gi-Oh, Force of Will, Pokemon, Funko Pops, anything you want they got So be sure to check them out, huge shout out to Corey TCG And um, let's get to the market watch and so I've been seeing a lot of stuff lately and a part of me just wanted to see like oh what's what's going on with the old cards and how much they're going up and are they still super dirt cheap but honestly set one SPRs have gone up and it's crazy like golden uh, freezer resurrected terror has gone up and lightning fast hit SPR have gone up and so here we have them for 1568 was the normal price this card was like ten dollars guys the SPR and then i don't know it just jumped and its normal listing is 40 bucks that's no almost three times the price of the card and i don't understand why i don't maybe it's because of the anniversary box you get the clan of terror and you get that special card that you could evolve if you pop two cards into this bad boy right here but i still don't understand why this card went up in price like crazy but hit up in the comment section if you guys know but i think it's because of the anniversary box like i said and so we have listings from 34.98 that's where it starts off guys it doesn't even just start off like at 1590 uh 1568 it goes straight to like 34 bucks pretty much almost 35 and and it's 40 dollars guys and it's a 40 dollar card like there's only a few listings at 34.98 and i do have it on ebay as well let's look at it and um it's low uh listed lowest to highest and the lowest you'll find is 20 bucks if you want to buy it now but it's still a twenty dollar SPR. When if when I saw it a few months ago, or not even a few months ago, a few weeks ago, it was like ten dollars. So it went up a lot. And it, I just got to show you guys. On, I have one of these, and it's one of my favorite cards. It looks amazing. Besides the Tournament of Power Frieza, but yeah, this one looks amazing, guys. So there's not that many listings. There was probably a buyout with this guy because people knew that the anniversary box was gonna be epic and amplify set one cards a lot. And so moving on. I'm going on to into uh, lightning fast SPR. This card went up to 75 bucks. Like I said, if you guys aren't a part of the discussion group, please hit it up in the uh, hit it up. It's gonna be in the description down and below. And let them know that you came from the super players that Tony G or C Rod or Supergirl sent you guys there um, when you fill out like oh the questionnaire. But be sure you, it was because of us. <laughs> but shout outs to Aaron obviously for doing a great job. And lightning fast SPR in that group I said. Um, in that discussion group, I didn't even finish saying it. It was $75. This went up to 75 bucks, guys. This SPR went to 75 It's crazy. And yeah, and so it's $27.99, uh, $27 or $29.99. And listed median was also normal price was $11.94. So it was an $11 card, $12 card. And now it doubled, tripled almost to $30. So, like I said, see, look, there's a listing for 60 bucks. I'm not, I'm not making this up, guys. And so, I think that the anniversary box, and there's a special card, I believe that, in that that comes with this uh, special box or anniversary box that you can evolve, hit from I think your drop for three energies rather than it being five. I'm not sure. I'm not. I don't, um, I'm not sure. I, I forgot what the card says, but I know you evolve on top of that hit for three energies. I don't know if it's from the drop or hand. I don't know exactly what it does or from the deck, but it's three energies. So don't get mad at me. Don't don't burn me alive. <laughs> but it's a $27 card when it was listed at 20, 12 bucks, normal, and we do have it on eBay or in eBay, and there's no listings on it. So there was a buyout with both Frieza and Lightning Facet. So that's crazy in my opinion. So you're looking at if you're gonna try to buy these or collect these now, it's gonna be pretty expensive when it was only like ten bucks not too long ago. And I do have Sensu Bean. I just want to talk about this quickly, just because the anniversary box did affect it. It went up, it, it went down from being like a seven eighty nine dollar card to five eighty nine. So as the anniversary box get, comes closer, <clears throat> being released, it's gonna drop the price. So you see it being affected. It's still pretty expensive though. Six dollars for one cent of mean is still pretty pricey in my opinion, but it's a staple. Anniversary box is gonna be sixty bucks. You only get to one alternative uh, foil and one alternative non foil, so and that's going up for a hefty price too. So I don't know what's better, the foil or this. If you want to save money, I say go with this because the other one is still just as expensive. 
um, but it's up to you guys I'm just showing you guys the prices so those of you that don't know now you know and moving on we have Gogeta uh, hero revived I try to find these on all these cards that I'm talking about after the ones I just uh, passed I couldn't find them on eBay so uh, I could only find them in TCG player I couldn't find them in eBay uh, but Gogeta hero revived has gone up a lot <laughs> It's almost it's a level two judge card that's almost as much as an SPR or a secret rare, and so there's only three listings. It's 169 to 225. So people are trying to rare out their max rarity their decks, and it's pretty cool. And um, yeah, so it's 169 to two three almost 200. Oh, it is 225. So there's only three listings. I couldn't find it in eBay, guys. I'm sorry, but this is for the level two. The level one is like 30 bucks, which is really funny. But uh, moving on, we do have uh, Battering Laser, also level 2. It was a $50 card, now it's $74.99, and it's going up to $114. So, these are cards that are going up because they're seeing a lot more play now. Or people that want to collect them can, but it's expensive. <laughs> and uh, I just wanted to look at these because they went up like 20 40 bucks. So, that yeah, was pretty cool. Well, it's not cool, but... I don't know. It's pretty cool. <laughs> and so we do have the new champion cards. Um, I think they're the champion cards, if I'm not uh, mistaken. They are the ones that come from the seal tournaments, or not the seal tournaments, the preliminary uh, preliminary store tournaments. And we have Sun Gohan. Like I told you guys, I couldn't find these on eBay. People aren't selling them on eBay yet. But uh, Sun Gohan the Avenger. I thought these weren't going to be that expensive, but since the entry fee is twenty bucks, this is about the same so each card is going to be about um, the same price and playability I think has a big factor like can you play this card in a deck so like for example this card is a counter attack if your leader card negate the attack play this card um, this card is activated by paying the energy cost during your opponent's turn reduce the car, uh, energy cost of this card by two so it's pretty much a topo 20k and it's permanent it, oh not as permanent when you play this card uh, during your opponent's turn choose one of your opponent's leader card or battle cards and it might and you minus it 10k for duration of turn so just imagine if you're attacking with broly yellow broly you negate it with this guy and he tries to resend his leader but he's 5k now for the duration of the turn so it's not just for one so it's for the duration of the turn and that's pretty insane that's so strong but it's pretty much a topo that minus is 10k, which is pretty strong in my opinion. And so it's a $26 card, 27. So Sun Gohan's probably the most value card in my opinion. And then moving on to Vegeta, Time Regulator. Uh, he's the other, uh, I think, champion card or uh, preliminary uh, release pack. Uh, when you play this card using Overrealm, choose up to two black cards with energy cost seven or less and warp, and place them in the bottom of your deck. Wow. If you place a battle card at the bottom of the of your deck, draw one card. So this is pretty much something to counter uh, Janemba. So you're, this is going to see a lot of play in Mass Saiyan. Like, Mass Saiyan is going to become very viable now with the next format. Uh, hit up in the comment section if you guys want us to do a June uh, tier list. I think I like that idea someone mentioned of making a, a tier list every month. And uh, hit up in the comment section. I will be making that if you guys want me to. And we'll discuss like, okay, which leaders are going to be dominating this month or which leaders are going to be dominating next month. So just, I've seen it with like Dokken Battle and I've seen it with uh, One Piece Treasure Crew. So shout out to Toski. Um, but yeah, <laughs> so that's what I'm saying. Like we could make a tier list for every month. That'd be pretty cool. I think it's important to be updated with what the meta is. And then Kaba the Revoker, Counter Negate. These are all counter. Oh, two of them them have been counter counter negate attack play this card is activated from the energy oh, okay so he's just a counter attack so two energies and it says when you play this card if your leader card is yellow choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and negate its skills for duration of the turn oh that's pretty good and he's 21 dollars i think i didn't even give you guys the price for the last one i was talking too much and then this one's 22 to 30 dollars so they're pretty expensive guys so if you are going to the preliminaries even just to pick up these cards it's worth it you make your money you you make your bang uh bang for your buck by just entering even if you don't top and get your invite you still get something that's equally uh worth the price and so we have kaba 21 trunks the uh, forerunner of hope he's probably the cheapest cheapest <laughs> at 1848 
uh, starting off, the lowest and the highest being $22. So at the end of your turn, if your leader card is blue, you may choose one blue, uh, or I mean one battle card with energy other than a battle card with uh, in your energy other than trunks, and blue and all other colors, or more and play it. That's pretty cool. And then add this card. So it's like you swap it out from your energy to your battle area. That's pretty cool. So it's a $20 card, and then Broly is the cheapest. And what he does is, if your leader card is green, play this card from your drop area. So you can play this guy from the drop. That's pretty sick for two energy. And um, there you guys have it. So these are all the prices that I thought were pretty interesting and what seems to be fluctuating. And there you guys have it. This is your uh, host, Tony G, bringing you another market watch. And like we always say, y'all stay super.